Amen. Are you ready? Thank God for his love. Thank God for all those joining us. Hallelujah. You are welcome. God bless you in Jesus' name. Precious Lord, I want to thank God for everyone today. We're going to go right straight into, I believe, into the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. And then thereafter, we're going to go into some severe prayers. Somebody say prayers. Mm, thank you, Lord. Glory to God. One more time, just open your mouth and begin to pray in tongues again. Zele bantele bebe lebe be kapa. Rebe bi abarande rebe be rebe be kabarando. Sada ba dara ba 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 kazabarande rebe be as. Libre nte rebe be rebe be rebe be kabere be bi abaradish. Te kaba tala bantolo babos. Mamto rebe be rebe be kabaradish. Te bantele be 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 bi abarade rebe be as. Ale bantele be be kabaradish. Oh rebe be rebe be abarande irado. Thank you, Lord Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Blessings to your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Rabababarosh. Lebrande lebebias. Many things are about to happen in your life this day. Amen. I want to remind all those who are listening to me right now. If you have uh, your passport, please get it out quickly. Your passport, passport. Somebody say passport. If you have your passport, your driving license, please get it out. We're going to be praying on your passport. We're going to be praying on your documents. Mighty God. I don't know if it does anybody want us to pray on that. Jesus, praise God. Get ready, get ready. We're going to be praying on your passports. We're going to be praying on your documents. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Zelabando In the name of Jesus. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. We're going to be. I want to speak on the mystery of dedication. Somebody say dedication. Dedication. Why we pray over a driver's license? Get, get it out. You will you'll find out. Hallelujah. Get it out and you, you, you understand. Get the driver's license, your passport. We're about to pray. Amen. Um, just get it out. Amen. Hallelujah. And I will tell you what to do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Makro do raba shalaba handala. Leban talaban telebebe kaparados. Blood of Jesus. Have your way, O God. Makro raba baba baba raba house. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above the earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. It shine of days as old as you are. 
as old as you are. You will never change each chain of days as old as you are, as old as you are. You will never change. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. I need the O. Oh, I need thee every hour. I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. Glory, glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. We bow before your throne. Worship at your feet. We bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. Glorious God. Beautiful King. Excellent God, we bow before your throne, bow before your throne, worship at your feet, bow before your throne, you are the glorious God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. In all that is within me, bless his holy name. He has done great things. He has done great things. And he has done great things. Bless his holy name. I will bless the Lord and give him glory and will Bless his name and give him all the glory and give him all the glory. Hallelujah. Mangraba shantele bentele baby a paradise. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. 
What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore Him. Angels bow before Him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a God. You are welcome in the name of Jesus, everyone. Hallelujah. Today is the second day of our program of our fast. Hallelujah. I got to tell you something, something that was funny. Something I joked about. There was something that was crazy yesterday. Hallelujah. I laughed so hard because yesterday, amen, was the first day of the fast. Hallelujah. I announced to everybody that yesterday was going to be the beginning of the time of our program of fast. And you know what baffled me? Amen. We got ready and we were excited to get on this fast. Hallelujah. So when I was finishing the broadcast, I said, okay, share the grace. Then I realized, oh, there is a chocolate that I had in my pocket. Now this chocolate, oh my goodness, I had it at, you know, um, so someone gave it to me and uh, it's a very nice chocolate. So I said, you know what? I cannot let it, I can't see this chocolate and focus on my fast. Boy, oh boy. So I took this chocolate <laughs> and I, and I chewed on it and I ate the chocolate. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. So I ate the chocolate and, uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Man, doro, doro, baby, oh, shakata, bantala, bahaya. Glory, 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 glory. Amen. 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 And I took the chocolate and I began to munch. And, um, so I was, I, it was later I realized I was, I, I was still alive. So everybody was still watching me. Like, look at this guy. He told us to fast and he's eating. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just had to do that. Hallelujah. I just had to do the, uh, um, 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 eat that, get that out of my way. Amen. So that I could focus on the fast. So some of you don't get biased by what is it? What, what is going on here? Hallelujah. But I speak blessings upon you. As you hear the sound of my voice, let the grace of God begin to uphold you. Let the power of the Spirit of God begin to go uphold you. It was a very funny scene. Very funny scene. I mean, you gotta, when I looked at the camera and I saw people with me, I was shocked myself. Hallelujah. I was just laughing. I was just, it was just hilarious. I said, let me share that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We are, we are, we are, God is turning the table. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 126. Psalm 126. Psalm 126. Amen. Psalm 126. Hallelujah. That is the scripture I'm hearing in the realm of the Spirit of God. God is giving us that scripture now. I just heard it. In the, in the Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Psalm 126. Let's quickly go there. I, I pray for you that God will strengthen many of you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Psalm 126. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Hallelujah. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. Who are Zion? These are glory carriers. Who are Zion? Those who carry heaven in them. Hallelujah. We were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. And our tongue was singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. People will begin to tell. People will begin to speak that God has done great things for them. For you. For you. For you. Because why? God is about to turn around your situation. That which has become a challenge in your life. That which seems to... That is you seems there are a lot of confrontations, a lot of resistance. You tried to do a lot of things in 2017. You tried to accomplish a lot, but there was a there was a level of resistance. There was a fight that was superimposed against your life. But by the power and the blood, Amen. By the reason of this scripture, many will begin to testify. Truly, God is with him. Hallelujah. You begin to understand that when you be, because of this scripture in verse two, Amen. God will begin to put laughter in your mouth. Hallelujah. Laughter will begin to break forth in you where you were one sorrowful. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. By the power of the blood, as you have come to this telecast, amen, to this uh, broadcast, some, some, the power of the Lord will rest upon you. The arrows and the sword of deliverance will begin to rescue you. Hallelujah. Because why? Then our mouth was filled with laughter. God will put laughter in your mouth. Hallelujah. And our tongue will sing in. God will put the songs of joy, the songs of victory in your mouth. Hallelujah. And what? And they said among the heathen, the Lord has gone to great things. You will not be the one testifying. People will be the one testifying and seeing the good works in your life. That's what the Bible says. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Amen. Hallelujah. And glorify your Father which is in heaven. By the power and the blood, let the fire of the Spirit of God arise for you. Amen. Today we're going to be dealing with something 
And the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Verse 4, turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Can somebody say to me, can somebody say to God, Lord, turn again the captivity. Turn again my captivity. Turn again my captivity by the power and the blood. I Right now, I pray for you. Every black mucus, it may come out from your mouth. Today, I unblock I unblock your voice. I unblock your, your state. I unblock you in the name of Jesus. I command you to be free from the clutches of hell by the power in the Holy Ghost. Amen. I decree the level of deliverance to come upon you. Every mucus that was implanted in your voice, in your mouth today. Those are darkness. Those are darkness. Darkness that proceeds from your heart. Today, I speak clarity and I speak you. To, I command you to be cleansed from within in the name of Jesus Christ. Say this loud again. Turn again my captivity, O Lord. Turn it again. Turn it again. Turn again, my captivity. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies. Rescue me from my enemies, oh God, that is too heavy for me. Hallelujah. Go ahead and begin to talk to the Lord now. Liban tola mahabala bado. Rebebebebe ya shakata bahanda. Ligrondo sumrahanda rabadea. Lord, turn again my captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Every captivity confronting my husband. Every captivity confronting my wife. Every captivity confronting my children. Every captivity confronting my husband. Confronting my family, let the captivity be turned around. It can be a captivity of barrenness. It can be a captivity of no, no financial, no financial blessings. It can be a captivity whereby you don't see the prophecies coming to pass. You are being in one place. It seems like you are moving, but there's no accomplishment. Whatsoever captivity that is confronting you this day, today. Today, all kind of challenges today, let it be turned around. Let it be turned around for testimonies by the power in the blood. Hallelujah. He says, what day that you sow in tears, in tears shall reap in joy. Say to, say to your neighbor, say to yourself and says, this season I will reap in joy. This season I will go forth in joy. I wept in 2017, but this 2018, in this month of February, is, there is joy that's about to break forth. I'm about to rejoice like never before. My praise is about to double up. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything about me is about to increase. I'm walking into a season of harvest like never before. Hallelujah. Say that with you. Say that to yourself. Hallelujah. And you will begin to see the manifestations of the Lord. Hallelujah. The power of God is about to rest upon you. Join with me in this next uh, where we began yesterday. Hallelujah. If you guys have just, if somebody missed the, the, the broadcast and you're not able to fast, amen, get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. Hallelujah. Anoint yourself. Prepare yourself for today and tomorrow. I told you, um, if you're just joining us, get your broadcast. Hallelujah. Get your, um, your, 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 uh, your, uh, uh, what do you call it? Your, uh, what am I saying? Hallelujah. Get your documents, your documents. Hallelujah. I've realized that in the camp of the devil, okay, in the office of the enemy, hallelujah, there was a particular lady, this, this, this story led me to, I'm saying this now because some people don't understand what is really going on. In the realms of the spirit, there was a lady who, beautiful lady, beautiful Liberian sister, hallelujah, who tried to walk and it has been so hard for her. She tried and tried and tried and tried and also tried to pass a nursing exam and it was just so hard. She would walk here, to get fired work here get fired all kinds of stuff so one day she um she asked him to pray for her i prayed for her prayed for her and it seems like there was no solution and he, 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 every time she would go write the exam nursing exam she was going to school for it but she kept failing this exam kept failing this exam and she said pastor you need to pray you need to pray so i said kept praying kept praying i had i had nothing amen hallelujah well if a friend of mine was visiting from africa and he began to minister to her powerfully, powerful, true powerful deliverance. And began to pray for her heavily. And after the severe deliverance, amen, hallelujah, the man of God began to ask. He said, listen to me, where's your passport? He brought it out and says, no, 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 this is not your passport. You have been using it, your, you, this is not the passport you've been using here in America. Amen, you've been using, you've been using your, your passport that was given to you from Africa. And um, she said, no, I have the American passport, the legal documents. He said, no, what I see in the realm of the spirit is that your passport is being used, is being caged in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. And, and, she, 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 and the man of God says, go for three days fasting. Go on three days fasting and go and pray. Pray that whoever, wherever my passport has been tied down, wherever my documents has been tied down, today I untie it in the realm of the spirit. She began to pray heavily and suddenly a friend in the dream brought, gave her, the, gave her a passport in the dream, handed over to her. So uh, two weeks later, she went to go write the exam. She uh, made up her mind that she's going to fail again. She has written this exam close to about 16 times. So this time she went, wrote the exam, and guess what? Easily she passed. Easily she passed. Easily she passed. She was like, whoa, are you serious? 
And so, we came on the prayer line. I said to everybody, last time I said everybody, gather your passports and everything. Wherever my passport has been tied, I use it as a point of contact. I take it back by the power of the blood of Jesus. Wherever my marriage has been tied, if you have a ring, a marriage ring, wherever it has been tied, you get a ring and you use that. If you have money, you take, get the money and use it as a point of contact. Wherever my money has been tied in the realm of the spirit, I use this money to withdraw all my money from the demonic camp. Hallelujah. We begin to see testimonies like never before. Hallelujah. Who, those who have, those who documents were tied and they could not walk. Amen. Hallelujah. Very soon they begin to get jobs left and right, left and right, left and right. God begin to open great doors. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What is the message for today? I beg of you, if you're listening to me, please invite people. You will be blessed. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> what God has for us, you're going to be blessed. Hallelujah. It's one of the things that the enemy has been using to hinder us. The enemy has been using to corner us. Get ready. Amen. Hallelujah. Send forth an invitation. Amen. Invite somebody so that they can be blessed. They can partake of these prayers. Hallelujah. God bless you. Oh, just a second. Praise you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Mangrobo hallelujah amen invite your friends so that they don't miss it he's wanting to watch his life he's wanting to be to watch it afterward when you watch afterward you need a high level of focus then determination amen to be able to go watch it all through and sometimes you want to fast forward and whatever it is but when you are watching it after uh, life then you know the lord is able to minister to you intervals hallelujah amen we're going to be dealing with the mystery of dedication mystery of dedication one of the things you must understand is that when we talk about dedication is a very very serious thing that happens hallelujah thank you my sister joining us daniel hallelujah amen faithful faithful share the message amen hallelujah god bless you praise god thank you lord jesus one of the things you must understand about dedication dedication is something that when it, it be, when god takes dedication very very serious and so we understand that in the moses in the beginning of time god on the other side began to send information hallelujah when the ark of god was being built and moses was giving direction how to build a temple hallelujah by the time and, and also in, 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 in producing and building the oil the anointing oil hallelujah instructions was given that after the temple was being built let everything be anointed with oil let everything be dedicated unto the lord hallelujah solomon to how to dedicate the temple of god amen many times we kind of miscrew the word dedication hallelujah praise god thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus glory to god hallelujah get ready because it's going to be glorious glory 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 hallelujah somebody say glory hmm. hallelujah what what is dedication dedication what does dedication mean dedication means to dedicate to devote hallelujah to dedicate the de devote something to the spirit being or to de devote something to divinity hallelujah when you have a product and you want to release it you dedicate it in the name of god okay this is uh what is this now this is a cinnamon cinnamon back right so for instance now if i want to use this now um it's a very powerful you know cinnamon in the bible i begin to pray on it and i begin to say father in the name of jesus i release this and i dedicate this to cleanse and to cleanse the atmosphere i use this as a point of contact to arrest every form of evil spirit let it let the power of the blood be upon this are you hearing me today let this be a weapon of deliverance hallelujah and whoever uses this whoever touches this will begin to experience the glory and the power of god now once i say this word hallelujah god uses this now god is obligated to now possess this thing and make it his does that make sense now this thing that is behind me here that's 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 they, they call it uh, the, 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 the uh, why am i lost of words hallelujah the uh the, is it no 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 not the, not the torah it is the the jewish the seven the whatever it is hallelujah glory be to god not the shofar i didn't say the shofar hallelujah well lord holy ghost help me well that word will come back to me hallelujah it's a candlestick but they say what they did they, 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 they. huh and Torah, whatever, whatever it is. Anyways, blood of Jesus, help me. Some, not the talits. I'm talking about the the candlestand, the candlestick. Amen. The candlestands. Hallelujah. But praise God. Amen. But these things have been dedicated by the Jews. 
they understand these beliefs and they dedicate it. The prayer show, the whatever it is, is being dedicated. I was with a brother in Israel and we we're trying to buy this um, um, shofar. And the shofar is very, somewhat very expensive when it's gold plated and whatever it is. And, um, and uh, but there was ones that was very cheap and it was so, sold in the Muslim areas in the where the Hamas are in the in the Muslim area. Manora, thank you. Where was that? I was just thinking about that word. Thank you. Hallelujah. So we see that the prayer sh uh, the, the, the shofar in the Muslims sold by the Islams, the Muslims, I, a lot of Christians buy it because it's cheap, but they fail to understand that. Those things that they have has been dedicated to their own God. Does that make sense? When you have products and you are doing a business, you dedicate your business already. You dedicate a business name. Okay? So the products that you have, you also dedicate it. By the reason of the dedication, whoever God, okay, you, you dedicate it to. Once, once you dedicate it to the God, God is obligated to watch after those products. He's obligated to, to bless it with favor. Are you hearing me? It's obligated to bless it that people are attractive to such products. All right? Now, that is for the Lord. Okay? Now, in the demonic, you go to a lot of restaurants, you see Buddha in front there, and you wonder what is really going on here. A restaurant has been dedicated. Many times when they close the store before they finish, there is a level of incense or ritual that they do in dedication, dedicating all this to the gods. Amen? To, to the gods when they have the water there they have whatever it is i'm so we christians don't are not aware uh, remember a brother was narrating this to me because he walked in that in such places hallelujah now when you begin to devote to devote something when you begin to dedicate something is to devote or to set apart uh, for the purpose of a or a ceremonial to perform a ceremonial or religious acceptance or consecrate an individual sometimes too you can also ordain an individual when you get somebody and says i want to ordain you as an elder ordain you as an evangelist ordain you as a priest is what they call dedication hallelujah praise god and uh, so w w the reason why we do it and the reason why every man does it is to attain something amen the bible says all have seen and have come short of the glory of god there is a reason all have seen and have come short of the glory of god there is a reason hallelujah god bless you uh, my prophet hallelujah there's a reason for the glory of god amen every man on this earth want to express the fullness of the glory of god anything short of the glory of god hallelujah it means that you have n you have not walking in success neither did you are you able to fulfill the will of god for your life but to walk in the full purpose of god for your life amen is to walk is is, is to is to full is to um hallelujah to not to come short in the glory of God, but the highly, the highest form of glory in heaven. Every time God looks on humans, they are always scared. They are always worried on humans. Why? Because if humans will mess up the glory of God, hallelujah, heaven is displeased. But when a man begins to walk in the fullness of glory in heaven, they are proud. They are happy because why? You are displaying, you are expressing the purposes of God. Hallelujah. So that's why it's necessary for us to walk in obedience. Amen. And so the Bible says something. It says, All have seen and have come short of the glory of God. All have seen and have come short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. And by that scripture, all have seen and come short of the glory of God, we begin to understand that what is the thing that steals glory? Amen. Nothing like any other. Hallelujah. True dedication. When a dedication is being made, it can affect the glory that a man carries it can affect the birthing of a child hallelujah we see this um in the life of uh, uh, samuel hallelujah we see this also in the life of samson remember samson when he was born he, 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 he was dead it was dedicated to god hallelujah and an angel was giving him some certain things to do and to eat but we won't be looking at that i want to i want us to look at um the first samuel chapter one first samuel chapter one verse eleven Let's quickly go there. First Samuel chapter one verse eleven, Amen. It's a very unique scripture. First Samuel chapter one, verse eleven. Let's quickly go there. Praise God. First Samuel chapter one verse eleven. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, we read verse 10. I'm going to read from verse 10, all right? She was in the bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. 
verse 11, and she vowed a vow. Remember that. Vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou indeed look on the affliction of the, of the handmaid and remember me. Stop there. Hallelujah. Bitterness of the soul. She was in the bitterness of the soul. All this time she has been coming to the temple and God seems like, it seems like as if God was not hearing her prayer. Amen. And you could see that in verse 8, then said Hakania, her husband, to her, Anna, why weepest thou? Why eatest thou not? Why is thy the heart grieved? Am I not better than thee than ten sons? So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat at the seat by the post of the temple, and she was in the bitterness of the soul, prayed unto the Lord, and wept. Bitterness, the word bitterness of the soul means she was in a high level of un will I use the word unforgiveness? When a man's soul goes to a place of bitterness, amen, it means you are harboring an offense towards another. When a man is walking in unforgiveness, hallelujah, definitely there is bitterness inside in, in, within the soul. Your soul is the mind, the will, and the emotions. And when there is a level of bitterness, it is the highest level whereby the doors of heaven can be slammed against you. Many people are walking under unforgiveness. Under, uh, offenses but you see by the time she began to pray to the Lord God began to circumcise her heart God began to purify her hallelujah but when you begin to engage the Lord the Lord will begin to convict and show you areas that you need to repent that is the first thing hallelujah and she vowed a vow and said oh Lord host if thou will indeed remember that she vowed a vow a vow is a covenant a vow, a vow is a binding contract when you make it with God, hallelujah, you must understand. Listen to me. You can pray all the prayers you want to pray. But the next level of prayers that, that, that holds on to God is the vow. My covenant will I not break, nor utter the thing that has been spoken by God. Listen to me. God will not break his covenant that you hold with him. Hallelujah. God will not break his covenant. If God does not answer you, hallelujah, try a vow. If you prayed and you fasted, and you yet to get an answer from God. Try a vow. By a vow, hallelujah, you will receive answers from God. You bind him and hold him standing. Now, it's not that God doesn't want to answer her. God was waiting. The more God waits, it brings you to that place of cleansing. It, it, it increases your desperation. Many times you cry to God, you say, Lord, answer me. Sometimes he will not answer until you have developed your prayer life and go and go and go now by the time she reaches this level she knows she has have a close relationship with god her faith has not been developed now because why god did not answer her immediately god allowed her to gain strength to gather relationship with god make things right and come closer to him she didn't just receive this boy but we see something if thou we indeed look on my affliction as a handmaiden and remember me and forget not the handmaiden Look at that. And I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall not no razor, there shall no razor come upon his head. You see that dedication? Lord, if you will do this, I offer him totally. Now, these are the words that were said by the mother without Samson's and Samuel's understanding. Hallelujah. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that the ally marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she speak in her heart, only her lips move, but her voice was not heard. Hallelujah. Let me let me let me let me let me go further. Hallelujah. But we see by this scripture and by this understanding, you can read that all the way to verse 24. Hallelujah. But I want to read um um let's go to 24. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. First, let's go to 23. And the Kana and her husband said unto her, Do what Simon did. It's good. Tarry until thou hast weaned him. Only the Lord established his word. So the woman aboard gave her a son and suck, and she weaned him. Now, in verse 24, when she had weaned him, she took him up with her three bollocks, whoa, three bollocks, one a fat of flour, and one bottle of wine, and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh. So what happened? She came with a vow. She didn't she came with a vow with an offering. She brought all kinds of animals, amen, to celebrate and to thank God for what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Every time God does something for you, remember this. 
Remember this. Eli agreed with her. But most of the time, God was the one that answered the prayer. Yes, whoever was the one that agreed with you in prayer, when the testimony happens, amen, it is right. And it's actually, that's what you do. You bring and an offering or you bring a, a, a love offering to thank God and say Lord thank you for what you've done now she brought a lot of sacrifices attached to that remember that when Samson came to the house of Manoah hallelujah the angel of the Lord came to Manoah Samson's parents house hallelujah before Samson was born there was some level of sacrifice that was given to the angel and the Bible said the angel did wondrously now I don't want to go into deep because I'm going to different things but you must understand hallelujah that for you to give back to divinity for God to really receive that child in dedication Amen. There is a level of sacrifice that's go, that goes around, goes ahead. Hallelujah. That must be presented at an altar. And it also requires a priest to agree with you. Now, once that contract is made, believe it me, that child becomes very, very, very extremely possessed by divinity. The supernatural comes upon him. He becomes very unique. Why? Because that child has been dedicated. That child has been dedicated. Hallelujah. So, dedicated, de when you drew, drew in dedication, God guards dedication so strongly. So strongly. So strongly. Oh, hallelujah. First, uh, First Chronicles chapter 18, verse 11. First Chronicles chapter 18, verse 11. Kolaba lava shadava house. Yore bamo sombranda rava kados. Oh boy. I should mute this voice so that everybody can be able to understand me. Hallelujah. Please get your wallet. If you have not worked in a long time, get ready. Testimonies are about to bust on every corner. Get ready. Hallelujah. Get ready. Because once your passport, once your legal documents to work in this country has been caged, once anything about you has been caged, if you give money to the wrong hands, you give money in the wrong church, you give money to a voodoo priest, you give money to an occultic man, they can take your money and in the spirit and trap you. Somebody can borrow your money. A wrong person can borrow your money. A wizard can borrow your money. And you pay your first, you give them the first money. They can hold, use that money to hold all your wealth. They can tie your money. They can tie you all through. You give them your credit card number. You give them your check, your bank card. You give them your checkbook to the wrong person. They can lit literally arrest everything that belongs to you financially. They can hold that account by demonic seed if you don't pray if you don't pray hallelujah if you don't pray first chronicles chapter 18 first chronicles chapter 18 verse 11 first chronicles chapter 18 verse 11 glory to god hallelujah then also the king david dedicated now remember that now okay dedicated unto the lord with the silver and the gold that he brought from all these nations then also the king david dedicated unto the lord with the silver and the gold that he brought unto the other nations with all this gold and silver was brought from all these crazy nations crazy people uh, crazy unbelievers when they came into his own house he made sure he prayed he made sure he presented them to god it made, it, made, it made sure that the Spirit of God fall upon those things. Very important. When you buy a car, you must present it to God. When you buy a cloth, you must present it to God. When you even buy your attachment or your wig, you must also present it to God. Don't just leave it just like that. You must dedicate it to God. Speak to it. My car will not break down. My car, you, my car, you will bring more blessings to me. You, my car, you will drive me to the place of favor. You will not drive me to the wrong place. You will not drive me to the place of death. You, this car, you will lead me to my place of prosperity. I speak unto you. You will prosper. And as I live in there, others will prosper as they abide in this car. This car, you will be hospitable to men of God. This car, you will be a blessing to mankind. So you speak these words and you will see the Holy Spirit overshadow this car. Let this car become an instrument of glory. Let this car become an instrument of God. May this car find favor before angels and before God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Now, that's how you begin to speak. Now, you must understand. So, we begin to see now also too that when David now made this 
dedication when david now went ahead and began to dedicate these temples and um, this gold we, we we see now that in the book of daniel nebuchadnezzar hallelujah um got this silver and this gold and all these things from the house of god hallelujah if you read uh let's quickly go there daniel chapter 5 daniel chapter 5 God was upset in one thing. And one of the things that uh, Daniel chapter 5 verse 1, he says, And Belshazzar, the king, made a feast, made a great feast to a thousand of his lords, drank wine before the thousand. Belshazzar, who had no clue of what is going on or the seriousness of, uh, of, 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 of dedication. And Belshazzar, while he tasted the wine, commanded to bring the gold, the golden and the silver vessels, which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple, which was in Jerusalem, that the king and his princes and his wives and his concubines might drink therein. Then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of God. You can't do that. Which is that was a sacred items. He took it, which was at Jerusalem, and the king and his princes and his wife and his concubine drank them in. They drank the wine, praised the gods of gold. And of silver and brass and of iron and stone they were not they didn't even know that it was not the demons they were praising the lower gods not even elohim who are who really was dedicated listen to me behind this gold and this silver amen the real god behind it was elohim himself but look at that verse five in the same hour came forth the same very hour while they were dedicating and celebrating these lower gods god says let me prove to this man I am Elohim that ruleth in the whole world. In the same hour came forth the finger of a man's hand and wrote against the candlestick. Remember again, the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall. The, uh, the menorah was there. And the Lord wrote oh, on it, oh, upon, he said, he wrote above it on the plaster of the wall, on the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. And then the king's countenance was changed. And his thoughts troubled him, so that the joints of his loins were loosed, and his knees smote one to another. I don't know if you understand this picture. You are having a party, jubilation. All of a sudden, you see a hand without a body appear. And you know that these items were taken from Jerusalem. All of a sudden, you see the hand of the Lord writing strange words in the, in the wall over the menorah which babylonians did not understand that was scary scary why because your father has just been driven out from the palace by some mystery mysterious powers and he began to act crazy mental which have never been seen before so he noticed this thing like Am I going to be mad, mad like my father? What is really going on? If you began to shake because I don't want to leave this palace. I don't want to lose my throne. And very soon, what am I trying to say to you? When it comes to dedication, God takes it very serious. God guards what is given to him. When you say, Lord, take over this house, God takes it serious. A family was saying bye-bye to their mother some ladies and the mother was giving them some eggs saying oh let us pray mama this and that they said no 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 we can pray let oh, i pray that god be with you and then one of the girls says no 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 let god go with us let god be in the boat and the mother gave her eggs and the eggs they had to put some eggs and the eggs could not fit into the car so they said okay let us put it in the trunk the same place they ask God to be at. They, they said, let that God be in the trunk. These women got into a gastric accident. By the time they opened the car, they realized not one of the eggs were broken. And they were in the trunk. Why the ladies died? Because they didn't allow God to be with them. In your house, anywhere you place the altar of God, in your house anywhere you've dedicated listen to me Besheba or Besheba how hard do you say it? yes 
was a mountain, one of the places that Abraham dedicated before the Lord. And we understood that after Abraham passing away, Jacob went to where the grandfather was. Not Isaac, Jacob. He went to where the grandfather was. And he made a mistake by sleeping. He didn't go there to pray, just to sleep. And by chance, the heavens opened. He saw angels descending and ascending. Why? The place was dedicated. Dedicated to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Now, we're going to be seeing something here. Um, one of the things that we must understand is that dedication. Now, we've talked about the godly dedication. Divine dedications. Because when you begin to, and whatsoever you commit to the Lord, God will bless it. That's why people, when it comes to marriages, weddings, it's done at the altar. The priest come and releases blessings upon it. You get you, you dedicate your marriage, you dedicate what is it to God. And from there on, things begin to prosper. Hallelujah. They also do charge dedication, naming ceremony. They go before the altar of God and you ask God, Lord bless. You take the name before the Lord. Lord bless the name. Bless, bless his name. Let his name be great. You dedicate his name to God. Hallelujah. So back in the days in the Jewish culture, hallelujah, many times we see that the, 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 um, um, the women sometimes give names according to the bed pain. Joseph had a name that was given and the father had to change his name. The mother didn't give Joseph a name, given according to the bitterness. And the father changed the name. Hallelujah. There are people that sometimes, Jacob, you see Jacob is named, an angel had, had to come change his name because why? That name could have an effect against him. If Jacob was to go to heaven, do you think God will write his name in the book of life? Jacob, cheetah. No. Jacob, cheetah. Miss Cheetah. But God had to change his name from what? Cheetah to Israel. Meaning prince. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was laughing recently. I, I was in some... I can't remember where I was. Was that driving license area or whatever? They asked the guy, what is your name? He says, Stanley Valley. What do you mean Stanley Valley? Your last name is Valley? You know what he mean by Valley? And so it's just, it sounds nice in the ears, Valley. Valley. It's like he, it's like, <laughs> hallelujah. There is a mountain top that is kept for eagles. In the valley, there are all kinds of nonsense that goes on. But people give, give names. You, when you give names, you give names according to greatness, the impact you want in your life. The direction you want God to do in your life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Okay. So now, what do we talk about evil dedication now? Evil dedication. How does that affect our destiny? Hallelujah. Dedication. Hallelujah. Um, in the realms of the devils, in the realms of in the realms of spirits and divinity, demons, when it comes to... Any, listen to me. The spirit of God and the spirit of demons are all fighting to gain jurisdiction or ge geographical um what do you call it again yeah yeah just gain just gain jurisdiction over mankind you just want to gain control over mankind whatever you give to them they take god himself and lucifer god is the one that has everything but lucifer wants to take portion from god he's a stupid competitor retired agent a re retired fired agent hallelujah so now what do we what are we saying now let me let's rush there listen to me Demons over satanic dedication have a strong voice in the court of heaven. In the court of heaven. And so we begin to understand that what the devil is trying to do now is to marry those who have been dedicated, marry the things of God with, with demonic things. And you see that Solomon began to go down when he brought the daughter of, he married the daughter of Pharaoh. He married the daughter of Pharaoh. He now went ahead and married the, the Astaroth. It's like, Solomon, you want to gather all the women, all the strange women in your temple? So, he began to come down, and the Bible says he began to bring strange gods in the temple. Strange gods. Strange gods. Hallelujah. One of the things that happens is that when a man has been dedicated 
if your family was dedicated if before you came in and whatever it is and now you want to live for god because somebody preached to you you saw the light of god now you want to change camp demons try to they feel like they have authority over you they feel like they have power and strength over you and the moment you break the vow of your parents to obey and to serve god there is a fight you have to fight because this demon says no she belongs to us there's no way she's going to serve the gods of her parents i mean she's going to serve the gods of another of a stranger so they began to fight amen i give you an instance if you your mother named you as samuel samuel which is a prophetic name your mother gave you a prophetic name and now you want to serve the devil even god himself angels will battle and fight demons too will fight because of the name you carry and until you answer the call of god you realize that all kinds of attacks are coming from different areas likewise if your name is like jacob if your name is a god is is, 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 a, is a worship to a god or a deity in your family either your last name or your first name and you begin to answer the name wherever you go there will be a fight Besida, the word Besida is a name. Hallelujah. I'm so sorry. Somebody listened to me and I clapped my hands. It was so loud. Besida is in one of the cities that God cursed. Remember, he led a blind man by the hand and led him out of the city. And says, tell no one in that city. Besida, the city of fish, he has been dedicated to the waters. A lot of darkness in that area. The reason why everybody is scared of everybody, the reason why Jerusalem has been unmovable is because that city has been dedicated to God. Jerusalem. Mecca has been dedicated. It's a bond servant. She has been dedicated to that Islamic spirit. Are you hearing me today? So, when you begin to see, you go to India, there are a lot of Hindu temples there because why? It has been dedicated to Shiva, you know, all kinds of gods. You know, hallelujah. But the memo, Kali, Shiva, Krishna, whatever it is. Amen? By the evil dedication. In other words, you can move into a house. And if that house has been dedicated by previous people, and you don't rededicate really the house, you don't call a man of God to rededicate the house. I remember your sister, who was in our church in those days, she said to me, she said, Pastor, please pray for me. I always have terrible dreams. I said, what terrible dream do you have? She saw that she was in a river, and she was being overcome by the river, drawn by the river, and she saw that this big, 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 big python spirit um, was over her, and she was trying to come out from the python's um, body. I said, uh, first question, I don't know. I said, let's pray. We began to pray, and the Lord opened my eyes. I said, by the way, who dedicated your house? She said, oh, it's a pastor, a man of God. When she mentioned him, the man of God, I knew the man of God, yeah, and I laughed. She said, why do you laugh? I said, because I know. She has had terrible encounters with that man of God. It seems like he has not been working right. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not, it's not, it's not a genuine man of God. Hallelujah. And I said, we have to dedicate our house again. So I went to the house, prayed on the house, drove all kinds of filthy spirit out of the house by prayer. So soon after that, she began to have good dreams. Soon after that, who the, 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 the brother left her for about three years without contacting her, no phone call, nothing. Her mother, everybody has been crying. She this guy just changed number. And he was just disconnected. They don't know whether he was dead. For three years, could not find the guy. After that week of dedication, after the time we prayed for her on Tuesday, on Friday, this woman called me. I was crying. What happened? My brother finally came to my house, knocked on the door. She began to weep. Is this you? Every blessing began to turn around because now 
the house has now become the temple of God. God is obligated now to prosper the house. Many people, I was take, trying to take a chewing gum. I opened the chewing gum, I was about to eat the gum, and I saw a label said, Pagan. Pagan. Pagan worship. And I looked at it, I said, what is this? I wanted to take again, the Lord says, hmm. There are dresses you can put on. Faded glory. Why would you wear a very nice dress that is called faded glory? It's been dedicated. The name itself carries something. Many people put all kinds of stuff. They don't know what is really going on with them. True religion. Dedicated to that God called Buddha. Are you hearing me? You must understand that when all these things come, you can rededicate those things back to God. You can put all those clothes that you bought. Father, I release the healing anointing. I release the glory power from today. Bathe this in the blood. And God will answer those prayers. God will answer it. But when you just put those clothes on, you don't even dedicate it. You don't even purify it. You don't even release. Mm -mm. Faded glory. I don't need to dedicate it. I don't need it. Because I need my glory. And I don't want nothing to tamper with my glory. Amen? Glory to God. Now, when... Glory to God. There are many ways that has affected... Many, many ways that has... Many things that we do. Amen? That somehow, somehow, the enemy has a voice over our lives. The enemy has a voice of how we struggle in life. And so many of us don't understand what is really going on in our destiny. We fight all kinds of warfare and we are, we, are, we are wondering what is really going on. For instance, our cultural beliefs play a huge role. Our cultural beliefs has been plagued, amen, by all kinds of foul spirit, all kinds of evil spirits, amen, all kinds of idolatry. If, for instance, child dedication, if it's done traditionally, amen, or done by your uncle, done by those who believe in idols, they, they begin to appease their God. They be, begin to give them a little alcohol. Amen? Even naming ceremony. They be invoke spirits and say the spirit of our fathers. The spirit of our fathers, you know that it's not the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen? And so we also see too, there's also coronation. When they talk about kings and uh, elders and whatever chiefs, and you see them with the beads, they come to the house. Sometimes you, you want to kneel down and say, oh, daddy... Or uncle, uncle, and they come and they want to lay hands on your head. Their hands has been dedicated to sacrifices and blood. Don't let such hands be placed on your head. Your head should carry the glory. It should reflect the power of the of God. Amen. Don't let all those hands be placed upon you. Glory to God. Amen. So we also see too, okay, um, traditional marriage, traditional marriages. They exchange, exchange alcohol. You know you don't drink alcohol. But because it's the tradition of the family, then they call a knot. All this, those are demands. Spiritual deities, where they worship. The demands of the spiritual of the deities require all these things. And so we bring ourselves to that. And so we have to do it because it's cultural. But then because you do that now, the demons that the, the, the demons behind these dedications begin to come after us when we begin to serve God. We give them that legal right. So that to really break that and we go into a serious battle. Hallelujah. Traditional marriage. So the next one is what? Circumcision ceremonies. I don't know much about that. Then also funerals. There's a lot of dedication on that also too. And, and also to buildings dedication of buildings people they take salt they mix it and they point to the earth and they begin to those who are begin to make prayers they, they they are elders of your father elders of your mother they begin to pray on that building and your brother's brother father's brothers begin to come and speak over the land sometimes they pour li li libation on the ground alcohol on the ground appeasing the gods you will have to fight that. And it's not a small prayer when you say, I break that. No. Demons, they like ter their territorial. If animals, 
if you watch the lion king and animals one lion more male lion and you have three other male lions and they begin to fight for some few female you know whatever it is if they begin to fight for the cops there why if they will guard their territory in order just to kill each other why do you why do, don't you think that demons too will do the same thing demons will guard their territory with all seriousness and fervency praise god praise god psalm 106 psalm 106 verse 28 psalm 106 verse 28 Psalm 106, verse 28. This is what happens when an evil dedication is upon a person. It begins to affect the destiny. They join themselves unto Baal. You can join a, 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 a you can join yourself to Baal when you meet somebody who worships Baal and you come into a marriage, you come into oneness with that individual and eat sacrifices of the dead and by so doing, thus they provoked him to anger and their inventions and the plague break in upon them. When the Moabites tried to get down Israel, they could not. They raised up a prophet Balaam to curse the Israelites. That could not happen. Very soon, war down of the Moabs. The women entered into the camp of the Israelites. They begin to commit to war down. And before you know it, because they became one with such spirits through sex. Sex is a marriage, it's a spiritual marriage. So it's a spiritual marriage or a spiritual union. And by so doing, when they begin to have sex with these unclean spirits, clean beings, when God looked at the Israelites, he didn't see his people. He was seeing this strange pollution and these strange people. All of them died. Just like that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Evil dedication can take, can fight Listen to me, one building that is dedicated to Satan in your whole street can release a negative energy, a negative aura. It can disrupt the peace of God in that whole neighborhood. The Bible says that God was so angry with Joshua because why? He brought an accursed thing. Not Joshua now. Let's quickly go there. Hale bantele bebe kapar rondo shida bahas. Igorozo brada rabahash. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Joshua chapter 7, verse 1. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 7, verse 1. He says, But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. For Achan, the son of Kami, Kami and the son of Zabdi, and the son of Zerah and of the tribal Judah took their cursed thing, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. Hallelujah. Because of that, look at what it says in, the, uh, in Joshua 22, verse 20. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look at what it says. 
notwithstanding if the land of your possession be unclean, then pass ye over to the land of possession of the land of the Lord, wherein the Lord's tabernacle dwelling dwelleth, and take possession among us. But rebel not against the Lord, nor rebel against us in the building, in building you an altar beside the altar of the Lord. Did not Achan, the son of Zerah, commit a trespass in their costing, and the wrath fell on all the congregation of Israel? So the anger of the Lord fell not just on Achan, it fell on all Israel that perished, not on that peri that man perished not alone in his iniquity. Your father can bring an accursed idol. And when God sees your house, he doesn't see your father. He can judge the whole person, everybody in the family. It's very sad. Jacob was a man that was successful. But the moment Rachel brought the accursed thing with her, demons were obligated or have authority over Jacob. But Jacob will pray, he may not have visitations, he want to have an encounter, everything is blocked, everywhere is, there is no presence of God. What is going on? This is what Joshua was going through. He thought he heard a voice. He thought it was victory. And so when they went to the to, to the land to go fight, that little island or little land, before you know it, he lost the battle. Wondering, how come? We fought giants before. This is nothing for us. He said, because you took an accursed thing. It's so painful because an accursed thing can be brought by your little child. You can be so successful and so favorable and so victorious. Angels can be ascending and descending in your house. And just by somebody bringing something that is accursed, it can stop the whole glory in your house. It can stop the power of God, even in your church. If your elders begin to do something, it can stop the power of God in, your, in the worship. If your father or your mother begin to do something and you see idols all over and you want to sleep in that house, it does not matter how much you're on fire. That accursed thing can stop the glory that you carry. That's why you must check what your children are watching. You must check if they were into pornography or into uh, tarot reading or into all this occultic stuff, occultic books. Once those things are in your house, it can open the, the, the door to demonic attack. It is very, very serious. Hallelujah. Very, very serious. Those, those things, it will hinder the move of God in your life. What was God's result in doing this? Wipe out a can. Oh, God is a God of love. No, you can't kill. Can this... God says, take him out. Kill him. Remove him far. There was no appease him, bring an animal, let us shoot the mercy of God flow. No, God says, I frown so much when you bring an accursed thing. Saul, preserve a king that should be wiped out. And you brought the accursed, accursed thing. We're going to prove to everybody that you, you conquered the land. I brought another king. What is the accursed thing in your house? What is the thing that has been dedicated to a shrine that was given to you by your uncle? That is what is brought bondage to everybody. Sometimes they bring a cream from Africa. So you use this cream. We went, to, went, to, went, went to this voodoo priest. He asked us to make a cream for you. Some of you have received cream from white garment churches. You begin to use the cream made with coconut oil, all kinds of smell. Some people go to, to, to occultic sites and acquire all kinds of things, creams, perfume. One lady said to me, she was smelling so occultic. And I looked at her, the smell that erupted from her. I said, this is not divine. What is this on you? And listen, the smell of witchcraft is so different from God. Cinnamon is biblical. You smell it. 
It's not, it, it, <laughs> devils don't use cinnamon. But there are other smells that the devil uses. And once you smell it, you know this is occultic. You just know. When I saw, when I asked, I said, what is this? He said, oh, it's for my hair. To grow my hair. To do this. I said, please, that is occultic. Don't use it again. Don't use it again. I don't care what it is. I know, and I know when there's an occultic smell. You gotta run away from all this. <laughs> People bring themselves to all kinds of demonic covenants. Somebody say covenants. So when, so the terrible thing about it is this. Hallelujah. The terrible thing about it is that when a man is dedicated, and this is why black man is struggling. This is why we are struggling. If Africans, they are very strong physically. Africans. They are very strong, very strong physically. But one of the things that they always make a mistake in sports, when they are about to go into sports, you have one or two people that will decide to go to a voodoo priest to empower them to succeed. And by taking that charm, it destroys the sources of everybody. Just like it brought, it causes God not to fight for the Israelites in terms of with Joshua. Those guys become an Achan. And that God, because of that thing, God, they bring a curse to the camp. So whatever talent they present, or whatever, uh, whoever they are trying to win or conquer, they come back with a defeat. But when you have a whole team looking unto God, God carries those team and fights for them. If you're, if whoever you're working with, if you have a business and by chance you have somebody who brought something to your company and is occultic, you better be so angry and refuse that. Because that could be an acorn in the ministry. It can be an acorn. When, and it, when God frowns and causes his presence to depart because somebody brought something. If you're a minister here and you circumcise all everybody, like God said, bring all the elders, 70 elders, and God and they were told to wash their clothes. God began to purify them, consecrate them. Now one person in the midst of them goes out and bring an accosting. It can affect the presence of God. It can pollute. One of the things you must understand, how do you understand when um, evil dedication takes place? We studied the scripture and we saw something that was very unique. I mean, if you remember Jezebel. Jezebel in the Bible. The Bible says she was a daughter of the chief priest. She was a daughter of the priest. They were not serving God. They were serving a different God. Jezebel was taken to the altar every day. In fact, before Jezebel got, the, 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 the parents needed a child and they prayed to that God to give them a child. Hallelujah. When the child was given, Baal, or Baal, or whatever his name is, acquired the child from Astaroth. And because Jezebel, a high level of dedication was made on her behalf, the spirit of Astaroth came so much because of the high level of sacrifice. The father knew so much secrets, he made so much vow. And Jezebel was so ruthless, so powerful. Same thing with Sam, 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 Samuel. Same thing with Samson. You can pray a small prayer to dedicate. God will answer. Or you can pray deep prayer with sacrifice and you mean the dedication. It's so amazing that husbands and wife, they want to have a child. 
and someone they don't even plan for it they just start love making and they say oh thank god the child is here i'm pregnant that's not when the child begins to grow up he might have so much troubles it's different from a child when a, the parent is fasting the parent is really asking God to give me a child, a godly child. And they are waiting upon the Lord. They are seeking the face of God. Can you imagine if a couple, before they come together to have a child, the, the man goes to fast for seven days, the woman goes to fast for seven days, asking God to pause them, pause their seed, asking God to anoint them, asking God to and not to, 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 to release a divine seed, a seed of divinity upon them, to mingle this seed with glory. Do you know that when they now come together in union and the child is not coming forth, do you know that's a spiritual child? It's not a child derived from the flesh. Do you know that when a mother and a father begin to argue and they quarrel and quarrel and quarrel and quarrel, and the, even the husband now slaps the wife. And they later go and meet the wife and call her and says, I'm so sorry. And begin to kiss her, I'm sorry. And they now goes on here to make love. Not even say, I'm sorry. And goes now and they call it, uh, what do you call it again? And the one they, 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 they come into union. He's just trying to tell the woman, I'm sorry. And begins to hug the woman, the woman is crying. And from there they now have sex and they now produce the child. You might feel good producing a child. When the woman says I'm pregnant. But you don't know that the atmosphere has been prepared by demons. You've opened the door to unclean spirits. The spirit has now mingled with the seed. The spirit of anger and rage enters into the seed. And so when your child now begins to get so angry, so angry. Ask yourself. Did you give birth to that child? When you just got angry or during the atmosphere of anger you can be cooking a food and you can be so angry over somebody angry over your daughter and you can be cooking that food you know that that's your food you're cooking can be polluted because you open the door to spirits i could be cooking a food and i can be worshiping god and i could be speaking in tongues I could be so filled with glory. I'm not praying over the food. I'm praying over myself. Oh God, I give you the glory. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. And I'm worshipping. But what I didn't know is that as I'm worshipping, the presence of God is coming on the food. The food is also being sanctified. Don't you know that? The healing anointing can mingle with your food. Because as I'm singing, the blessings of God is coming out through my hands. The angels of God are sanctifying what I'm eating. Because in the presence of God, everything becomes joyful. People don't understand this mystery. If I get angry, yeah, it's just within me. There's nothing. Listen, one time I was walking with a lady. And she did something with me to me that I was so offended. She was very offended. I was very offended. And there was this big machine that we were working with. It's a medical machine. I don't know what happened. For the first time in that company, we had boom! Machine broke. It took close to about three weeks to fix that machine. It's never happened in the company. The energy of anger that was emanating from that sister was so strong. Myself, the anger was so strong that it attracted some spirits, some spirit of rage. They begin to shake that place. Bam! And when, it, when, when that noise hit, when the machine broke, when the engineers came, me and the lady, we looked at each other and we smiled because we knew that the anger was so, so strong that the enemy used it to attack the machine. We didn't do nothing to the machine. The machine just broke. A man can get into a serious accident because he's in serious anger with his wife. When you are in serious anger, that family's 
becomes very vulnerable. Anything can happen. The topic of dedication is so deep. So deep. That if I don't have the time to pray now, we can go on and on and on. If you come as Jezebel, or the enemy intends for you to be Jezebel, and your parents dedicated you to the, the, the prophets of Baal, for instance, Jezebel has no way of hearing the gospel because her parents dedicated her, they were taken her to the temple. If, for instance, now she went to school or college, somebody preached to Jezebel and says, give your life to Jesus, and she gave her life to Jesus, and she surrendered her to God. Now, the demons of Baal, Astaroth, will begin to fight her. And so her parents begin to still dedicate her. Guess what? Eventually, part of her will be to the idols, and part of her will be to God. Now, that same lady, people want to marry her. She'll be having dreams of snakes in her dream. She'll be having all these idolistic, balish spirits in her dream. Even though she's supposed to be the Jezebel, because she has accepted Christ, there will be all kinds of warfare going on. Conflict. Number one, she has to break the dedication of her parents. She has to renounce it. So you want to serve God? You're trying to be loyal? You're trying to really work with God? But because your parents have dedicated, to, dedicated you to be a priest or a priestess, it's hard. You don't know why you're reacting to a man of God? You don't know why you have this violent spirit? You don't know why you're in control? Even though you've, you've said, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. But there is something within you try to break this covenant. People, spirit beings begin to sleep with you. It's like, but I'm saved, I'm delivered. It's because somebody has dedicated you. And until you renounce, until you break such covenants, you can't shake it off. What happens when there's an evil dedication upon your life? Number one, you become, you have the tendency to be very arrogant. You, you come, you get the hardness of heart. Hallelujah. Number two, you become very prayerless. You don't want to pray. It becomes very mechanic. It's like you're forcing yourself. Number three, you become desensitized. You're not sensitive to the presence of God anymore. People are worshiping. They are tearful. You're wondering, what is this? Hallelujah. You are not sensitive to the Spirit of God. You're not sensitive to His glory. Hallelujah. So, amen. And then all of a sudden, poverty begins to erupt everywhere in your life. Poverty. That's the more. Hallelujah. There's, they, they, they become poverty because people who serve other idols, they, become, they be, be like the idols. There's kind of a lack. There's a level of spirit that comes upon them. You begin to have unpardonable errors. You begin to do kind of mistakes all over. One of the things is that when you begin to save this, when you, if your parents have dedicated you, there is a strange feeling that comes upon you. There is a strange, scary presence that is around you. There is because those who worship idols, they have this spirit of rejection that comes upon them. Those who have these idols, they have this rejection. You can look at their face and go, ah, it's, it is a feeling. Now, if you've been dedicated, there will be this spirit of rejection that will fall on you. If you come from a background that worship idols, their background have been dedicated to those gods. Watch over this family, watch over this, they'll be pouring alcohol, they'll be saying amen, they'll be receiving prayers. Those people, when they come from that family, there's a spirit or there's a spirit of pride that comes upon them that can erupt very easily. They can get very angry very, very easily. Very offended easily. Because They've been dedicated. So that offensive spirit of anger comes. Hallelujah. They begin to attract all kinds of attack and hatred. Hallelujah. Every dedication will always push you to wrong people, wrong partners in, in terms of marriage. Hallelujah. And you will rise successfully because god raised you up and all of a sudden you crash very quickly because the demonic powers are trying to pull you down people who go through stuff like that either the partner dies very quickly or they begin to go through widowhood there's also destructive morals all kinds of morals hallelujah 
some you know um, they are being abused and such and such are happening in the family somebody sleep with this somebody sleep with that there's untimely death begin to take place in the family and that power that commands stars to wander wandering stars it begins to happen hallelujah and now if you come to a family and you want to get married or you always find out the name your last name the meaning of your last name i had to change the meaning of my last name because i didn't understand the mystery last name is ogman what does ogman mean other religion other other languages have it their own interpretation but for my for my own tribe not one person understood the name ogman and they tried and asked the king was giving me another name, was saying this is the name, and that, that, that. I came to a conclusion that they knew. That they knew I'm a man of God. And they knew that this name, somehow, they told me the truth. I truly believe that this name is the name of a God. So I had to change, change my name. There's no way God will call you blessed with a name. If your name carries a, a, a filthy, a, a, a pays a homage or it pays a respect or it pays a, a worship, a level of worship to a God, change your name. Change your name. Hallelujah. Change your name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So I bless God for what he has done in our lives. I believe that we have to go into a place of prayer now. Glory to God. Someone say prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. All right. I think we, I think we are done. What? Why? Why do you use the word why? Es, explain to me. If there's any question, please let me know very quickly. Why do you use the word why? Why? When a house has been dedicated, I gave you the story. Akan, Akan. Hmm. Hallelujah. I didn't see the other text. Somebody says why. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. It's necessary that you dedicate your house. It's necessary that you dedicate your car. It's necessary that you dedicate your name. It's necessary you dedicate your business. It's necessary you dedicate even the bed, your bed sheets. It's necessary to dedicate the things that you buy, your kitchen wares, and many other things. Hallelujah. It's necessary to dedicate even your soap, your shampoo. You dedicate it to the Lord. When we pray on anointing oil, that's dedication. Hallelujah. That's dedication. That is dedication. Every time we pray on anointing oil and we pray on our water, that is dedication. Hallelujah. And you begin to sing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So it was about name change. Okay. Glory to God. We must change your name. If your name has a negative effect, like faded glory, all right, the devil will make sure because he's looking for every loophole to attack you. So if you give him any negative connotation, he will use that. He's a legalist. And so he's going to fight you and take you to the court of law, the court of divinity, and argue the case why you should not be blessed. Sometimes when you begin to pray, Lord, I need this from God. Lord, I need a blessing. Lord, I need a partner. And God wants to send a divine partner. He says, no. No. Do you know the prayers that his father prayed? You know the prayers that the mother prayed to us? And the vow. He has been dedicated to us. You can't give him a wife from God. And so the only way you can counteract and cancel that is you now have to consecrate yourself. Consecrate yourself like a Nazarite. Dedicate yourself to God. Dedicate your seed. Revoke the words that has been said by your parents and your mother. Hallelujah. And so when God begins to come, amen, when God begins to come, he begins to release the blessing. Even when the devil is trying to fight, he say, no, this is different now. This has been redeemed by the blood. It has been redeemed. But when you don't negate, when you don't stand against, when you don't oppose, when you don't resist, the devil, amen, will argue your case and will oppose your blessings from coming into your life. When an accursed thing is in your house, either by your children or by your husband or by your wife, it can release the spirit of death that people begin to suffer sicknesses. It can, it, can, it, can, it can open the gates of hell. People begin to go through all kinds of warfare in the dreams. It can begin to cause the, every man, every woman, every girl to be sleeping and having sex. Once one person, one man is an idol worshiper, he has brought an accursed thing to the house of God. 
Now, it causes everybody to begin to walk in what? In bondage and affliction. It gives everybody the room to begin to operate on other God. A level of oppression and witchcraft. Hallelujah. What do you do? How do you do that? By changing that, you begin to reverse. You begin to revoke. You begin to rededicate your life back to Him. And that's why we're here. We're going to do some serious prayers now. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory. Hmm. Oh, Rabba Bahanda Labadosh. Get your passport very quickly. Get your passport very quickly. Let's 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 pray. Get your passport very quickly. Your passport and your driving license in the name of Jesus. Rabaka Shataban Telebon Talibiapara. Rondo Rebibia Kazontos. I mean if you are blessed today. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you blessed? Thank you, Jesus. Are you blessed? Rada Rababaka Shela Mandolabo Zebra Handish. Begin to talk to the Lord and say, Lord, in any way that I've sinned against you, Father, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Rebe be 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 abarando shakabala ba ligrado shambranda rebe be azando rost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lagra ba 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 bash. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody shot fire. Fire. Hallelujah. Somebody shot fire. Hallelujah. One of the things you're going to pray is this. Say this loud and clear. Say every voice. Every, every satanic dedication. Every satanic dedication. Speaking over my head. Speaking over my head. When you begin to pray this prayer, say every satanic dedication. Speaking over the, the head of my Now, now if if your children is going through struggles. If you are the one that is going through some negative dreams, you see yourself by the water, you see uh, idols chasing you, or you see masculine chasing you in the dream, you see all kinds of things happening in your life, this is a prayer you're going to pray. Okay? Mm -hmm. Every evil dedication speaking over my head. Every evil dedication speaking over my career. Every evil dedication speaking over my children. Every evil dedication speaking over my husband. So whoever is complaining, whoever you know that something is not just right, pray that prayer. Hallelujah. Say every evil dedication speaking over my life. Die by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ragabaraka zabradi. Legrebebe rebebe gabaradia. Rababa rababaga shambrando ribebia. Legrebebe rebebe gabaradi ribebion. Every evil dedication. Rababa gaba shanta. Elabranda rebebe rebebia baradin. Robobobobogo sumbrahanda. Ilegrebebe rebebia baradin. Rababa baga shanta bande. Li rebebe rebebe gabaradi. Rababa rebebe rebebia baradi. Regede rebebe rebebe rebebia baradi. Rebebega rebebe rebebe rebebia, magrada rebebe 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 rebebia, rebebe 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 rebebia, magrada rebebe magrada In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Every satanic dedication. Inviting trouble into my life. You, you know that you cannot be sitting down while you're praying this prayer now. Uh -uh. Who has one picture while sitting down? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Every satanic dedication. Inviting poverty to my life. Break by fire. Le graba rababaga shanta bantala mahandia. Ile grebe be 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 bia. Rega da rebe be 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 bia. Rega da rebabaga be 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 bia. Rebe be 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 bia. Every da rebe be 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 bia baradi. Rega da rebe be 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 bia. Libra da rebabaga baranda rebe bia. Every dedication. Rebe be kabara. E rebaba rebe be amaradia. Zalama dalaba. E la graba. E rebaba rebe be kabaradi. Rebe be rebe be kabaradi. Rebaba rebaba kusumba haya. Die by fire. Le graba. 
Raba Sambrandaria, Rebebe Bia Shandaba, Regade, Rebebia Bandi, Robobobo Zambrander Bibia, Regade Rebebe Rebebe Rebebia, Die by Fire. Rebebebebe kabara do rebebia, regede rebebe rebebe rebebia, irogede rebebe rebebe gede rebebia, rebebe 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 gede rebebia, magra baba 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 rebebia. Every evil dedication upon my life uh, die by fire. Regede rebebe gede rebebia, magra baba rebebe abrando rebebio, ila branda rebebe rebebia, regede rebebe rebebia. Iroba baba 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 abrando rebebia. Rebebe rebebe gebe rebebia, mangra baba rababa rebebe rebebia, John Brenda rebebe rebebia, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, zile mandele bebe rebebia brados. The name of Jesus, shaka taba taba la bahaya, rebebe abarando rebebio, zeke de brando rebebi abarandich, die by fire, ligra baba rababa yabarandich, in Jesus name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, one of the things I've always understood is that I have this brother who was a, in, 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 a, in a prayer thing and back in school. The guy's father was very rich. Now, this guy, I understand that even after he left school, traveled, wherever he was, he needed some money. Every time the father would send, give him some money. This guy, he would have so much money buy from his father, but... He won't be able to do anything good with the money. By the time the money enters his hand, he begins to go through all kinds of trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Ah. The guy was discussing with me, you know. And I said, what did your father do? He finally, we, during the course of the conversation, we finally understood that the father was into occult. That's how he got his money, from occult. So when that, when, it, when, it, when, when these blessings come, you know sometimes when, when parents die, they leave the wealth to their children. And if you're a man of God, you want, you want to stay away from those things. Because if your father got his wealth from the wicked, if the devil gave him money, hallelujah, and you carry those things and you mingle it with God's money, there is a curse. Hallelujah. So this brother began to suffer financially. Every time the, the, the father's money enters, he will go into some serious, serious loss of money. You know? Why? Because the, 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 the spirits that gave the father money, hallelujah, cannot work with this brother who is not in Christ. You're going to pray. You're going to pray. Hmm. Now hold your passport. All right? Hmm. All my blessings captured from my life through satanic dedication. All my blessings acquired from my life True satanic dedication. I take it back now by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Regede rebebe kabaradia. Magrada rababaya. Irebebe kebere bebia. Ega brada rebebe apara. Ilegede rebebe kebere bebe rebebia. Rababa rebebe kebere bebia. Ilegede deria. Rebebe rebebe kebere bebia. Regede rebebe abaradi. I take it back. Ragada rababa rebebia. Rebebe rebebe kebere bebia. Rababa rebebe kebere bebia. Regede rebebe rebebia. Rebebe 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 kebere bebia. Regede in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. If your parents worshipped serpents, if your parents, they was with your worship from where you were, they bait you with serpents, whatever it is, you will always be seeing serpents in your dream. You will always be seeing what? Serpents in your dream. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. If your parents brought clothes from you for you from Africa, and you know they don't serve, they serve voodoo priests, they go to voodoos, voodoo priests and other things, and they use their money and bought you clothes, or they even prayed for you in that clothes, wherever it is. Listen to me. There will be spirits that have legal rights 
to fight you and to rob you of your blessings because you took their property. So by when those properties are in your hands, those are cursed things. And it's, I know it's a deep message, but it's a deep message. Say this loud and clear. As I hold my passport, as I hold my driving license, every good thing that I've been denied in this land, as I use my driving license, as I hold my passport, every good thing, every good opportunity that has been denied from my life as a result of my documents, I take it back now by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ragazaba randa rebebia para. Ele brande rebebia. Shakata bantara baha. Ele gede rebebega berebebega baradia. Do you understand the prayer? Do you understand the prayer? Hallelujah. Le branda rebebia. Every good opportunity. Every good opportunity. Every blessing. Amen. That was taken from my life as a result of my documents. By the power in the blood. I take it back now by the blood of Jesus. I take it back by fire. Rebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
Sada raba rebe bege rebe bian. Reke de rebe 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 bia baradin. Raba baba baga bara bebiash. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Those who serve idols carry the spirit of rejection. Strong spirit of rejection. You're going to pray this prayer loud and clear. And it's passed to their children, 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 those who worship God. It passed on to them too. You're going to pray this prayer loud and clear. Every satanic dedication. Chasing good people away from my life. Every satanic dedication. Chasing away good people from my life. Die by fire. Every evil dedication. Evil dedication. Evil dedication, chasing good people from my life. I say break by fire. I say die by fire. Regeta remember Rebia. Regeta remember Rebia. Remember Rebia. Remember Rebia. Remember Rebia. Any dedication. Chasing away good people from my life. Rada Rababa Rebebe Cabara. Remember Rebebe Cabara. Rebebe Rebebe Cabara. Remember Rebebe Cabara. Remember Rebebe In Jesus' name we pray. Every evil. Amen. Every evil dedication keeping me away from the presence of God. Adam ate the apple and they found themselves outside of God's garden without the glory. Every evil dedication chasing me away from the presence of God. Achan was kicked away from the presence of God. Every evil dedication chasing away the presence of God for my life. Die by fire! Open your mouth and fire prayer. Evil dedication. In Jesus' name we pray. Evil dedication. Affecting my memory. You see, you see, those who serve other gods, they are not smart so much. But those who are in God are smart. Hallelujah. Because when you come over here, you see people, the, the whites and the Americans, they don't really have so much of their idols by blood. When you see some of them, they begin to make rockets and whatever. You see the Jews, because of the dedication of their forefathers. These guys, the first guy that made a plane is a Jewish guy. He made an airplane. Hallelujah. These rockets, all these things that you see. The guy, first guy that made nuclear bomb is a Jewish guy. Why? Dedication. Hallelujah. You're going to pray. <laughs> Every evil dedication affecting my brain, 
affecting my memory. Die by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Regede rebebe gabaradia. Regede rebebe abaradi. Regede rebebe gabaradia. Rebe rebe rebebe gabaradia. 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 Evil dedication affecting my mind, affecting my brain. Regede rebebe rebebe. Rebe rebebe rebebe. Rebe rebebe rebebe. Rebe rebebe rebebe. Rebe rebebe rebebe. Rada raba baba ya, raba baba ya baradi, rebe rebe baradi ya, rebe 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 ya, raba baba baba rebe ya, rebe 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 ya, rebe 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 ya, rebe 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 ya, rada raba baba, rebe 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 ya, rebe 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 ya, rebe 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 ya, raba baba baba rebe ya, magra baba rebe ya, rebe 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 ya. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Solomon got a crazy wife. Amen. Solomon got a crazy woman. And, uh, and, uh, Samson too got a crazy woman. That was that that was under a different dedication. He has ministry. The guy, the Bible says, the Bible says he repented after Jezebel died. After Jezebel died, this guy now repented. Ahab. And God said, I will bring the iniquity on your son's days. Why? God answered his prayer after Jezebel had gone. He was on evil yoke with this woman. You can be equally yoked with a man that is under, that serves the shrine of the Father's house. Or has been dedicated to the shrine of the Father's house. Hallelujah. And if you don't pray, and if he don't pray, the family comes under serious attack. And it can affect the peace and the progress financial in that family. You're going to pray. See, every evil dedication attacking my marriage Attacking my jaw in my marriage. Die by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every kabara da ribebia paradosh. Die by fire. Regede rebebe kabaradish. Malaban talaban talabadilia. Regede rebebe kabaribia. Rababa rebebe kabaribia. Rababa rebebe kabaribia. Evil dedication. Attacking my marriage. Die by fire. Regede rebebe kabaribia. Rebebe rebebe kabaribia. Mangra da rababa rebebe kabaradi. Rebebe rebebe kabaribia. Rababa rebebe kabaribia. Rebebe 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 rebebe kabaribia. In Jesus' name we pray. Please pray this prayer loud and clear. This prayer, every man has been called on the surface of the earth. Every man has a purpose and a mandate from the Lord while you are here. God is a visionary. He will not send you here on this earth empty-handed. He will plant in you, implant in you his word. Bible says you are framed by the word of God. He gives an instruction upon your spirit to do something on the earth. His word will not come forward. He must accomplish that which he has been sent forth. Hallelujah. But when an evil dedication has gone in place, it will pervert the call of God for your life. It will divert it. Hallelujah. Every evil dedication attacking my calling Die by fire! Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ragabara baba ya baradi. Every evil power, ill brother, evil dedication, attacking my calling. Die, 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 die. Rebebe gabaradi rebebia. Regede rebebia. Regede rebebe rebebe gabarebia. Rababa rebebe gabarebia. Ill rebebe rebebe gabarebia. Regede rebebe rebebe rebebia. Ill rebebe rebebe gabarebia. Regede rebebe rebebia. Ill rebebe 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 gabaradi. Dar rababa baba ya baradi. Ill rebebe rebebia. Regede rebebe 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 rebebe
finally, finally, I beg of you. Um, we will have, we'll have the time to to pray more of that. But this is a prayer you're gonna pray. This is a prayer you're gonna pray. Every satanic dedication, affecting my children. Whether you have, you, whether you have children, or you are about to give birth to children, or you you are you are planning for children in the future, amen. You're gonna pray that prayer, amen. Because many times the children look that look like the gods. Many times the children carry the personality of the gods. Many times the children begin to walk in so much anger. Many times the children begin to drink alcohol like the like the, like the gods. Hallelujah! You're going to pray. Every satanic dedication. Attacking my children. Die by fire. Regede rebebe gabaradia, maga talaman telebebe abaradi. Regede rebebe rebebia, rebebe rebebe gabaradi abaradi. Rebebe rebebe gabaradia, rebebe rebebe gabaradia. Satanic dedication, attacking my children. Rada raba baba baga barandia. Regede rebebe rebebe rebebia, rebebe rebebe gabaradia, rebebe rebebe gabaradia, rebebe 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 gabaradia. Livramando rebebe rebebia, regede rebebe rebebe rebebia, rebebe rebebe gabaradia. Darra ba 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 Die by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Regede rebebe gabaradi. Rebebe rebebe gabaradi. Satanic dedication. Stopping the will of God in my life. Regede rebebe rebebe gabaradi. Regede rebebe rebebe gabaradi. Rebebe 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 gabaradi. Rebebe 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 gabaradi. I, 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 I. Leg rebebe rebebe gabaradi. I beg of you to pray that prayer heavily, okay? I stop you because it's like many of us don't understand this prayer. <laughs> Satan, I, I'm listen to me. These prayers are given to me in the spirit, amen. These prayers I'm giving given to me by angels. I'm just I could I could hear what God is saying now. Hallelujah! Satanic dedication, stopping the will of God in my life. Those who are under serious satanic dedication, they come under. They are very stubborn. They are very rebellious. Sometimes you tell them the word of God, they cannot move because there is a strange voice. There is a strange voice that is speaking. Amen. They are very stubborn and very arrogant. They think they know it. These are the ones that argue very well. Why? Because there's a strong, stubborn, idolistic spirit of the Father's house. People who serve idols, they are very stubborn. And so when God begins to speak to them, they want to, they want, they have they are so intelligent, they feel like they know it all. So they have their own voice. And so this is why you're going to pray. Because if you're under that strong bondage, my God, you need help. Hallelujah. Well, we all need help. So this is the prayer you're gonna pray. Amen. What's the prayer point again? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every satanic dedication. Stopping the will of God in my life. Die by fire. Regede rebebe gabaradia. Rabababa gashatabaha. Ile grebebe rebebia. Rebebe rebebe gabaradia. E gabaradia. Satanic dedication. Stopping the will of God in my life. Die by fire. Regede rebebe rebebe gabaradia. Rababa rebebe rebebe gabaradia. Rababa gabaradia. Regede rebebe rebebe gabaradia. Rebebe rebebe gabaradia. Elebrando rebebe rebebia. Rababa gabaradia. Rebebe 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 gabaradia. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen.
say I re withdraw. Somebody look for money. Quickly get money in your hand very quickly. Uh, where is that money? Get money in your hand very quickly. Get money in your hand very quickly. We're going to pray. Le ba la ba. Get money in your hand. You need a dollar quickly. A dollar or two or twenty dollars, whatever. Get money in your hand very quickly. See, I use this money as a point of contact. Shout it loud and clear. Say, I use this money as a point of contact. I use this money as a point of contact. Wherever my money has been caged by the devil. Wherever my money has been tied down in demonic places. As I hold this money in my hand. I untie on my money to rush to me now. As I use this money, all my money that has been caged all of my money that has been tied i command my money to be released how many of you understand this prayer when you give money to the wrong people and they go to let's say you give your money to your mother and your mother give it to her brother and her brother the brother takes your money to the shrine they can steal your glory with that if your mother somehow goes to buy rice and give it to a voodoo priest what happens hallelujah your money can be held can be tied down your resources can be tied down. Hallelujah. We are going to pray this prayer loud and clear. Glory to God. <laughs> All my money. I use it as I use this money in my hands as a point of contact. All my money that has been tied, that has been held by demonic hands, by demonic altars. I command my money to be released. And let them rush to me now. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Reba baga baradia. Reba baga baradi. Zalaman dala badilia. Reka ja reba baga berebebia. Reba reba baga berebebia. Reba baga 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 reba baga beradia. La grada reba baga berebe. Aroda reba baga. Reba baga reba baga berebe. 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 Reka ja reba baga berebe. Arabababa, <laughs> The name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Your driving license is your identity. Your driving license is your identity. Take your driving license and say this loud and clear. Anywhere, anywhere my, anywhere my identity is under. 
Anyway, my, my identity is under attack. As I hold my driving license. Every attack on my identity. Or every attack on my integrity. Scatter by fire! I say scatter, le grand rebellia, Rebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
and you go and try a dress, try a dress. Some of you feel that when you wear a dress, you could feel the negative energy when you put on somebody's clothes, right? Those clothes you put on the stalls, you could feel an energy. It's because some other people carry some spirits and they put on the same clothes. You came now, you didn't put on the clothes, you just put it on. Are you getting me? And there's so many things that makes us not to see angels. Back in the olden days, there was no television, nothing. Everybody saw angels. Life and direct. Angels were like men. But that doesn't happen now because there's so many things that is polluting our environment. So much accosting around us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So please, I beg of you, okay? The Lord loves you. And let me give you my number. Amen. Let me give you guys my number again. 612-701-5983. 612-701-5983. It's a direct number. Hallelujah. And also to the, the WhatsApp number. is That's also the WhatsApp number. You want to join the WhatsApp? Hallelujah. 612-701-5983. Please don't post anything that is illegal. Don't post anything that is crazy images, crazy videos like somebody did recently. Hallelujah. Post anything that is edifying, that drives people to God. Hallelujah. Don't post all kinds of different kinds of ministries because we don't know which one is genuine. Hallelujah. So we don't want our ministry to lead people to bondage or lead people to the wrong house. So we are careful on that. So that's why we only post anything, everything that is certain towards this ministry. Amen. But it should uplift in each individual. Praise God. A sister called me and she was telling me, oh, pastor, you know, um, um, I had to leave WhatsApp and this and that. I said, okay, all right. But I want you to pray for me. I said, when last you come on the prayer line? Say said, a, a month ago. <laughs> Sister, I don't know how she pray for you. Uh, I said, okay, what do you want me to pray for? Uh, recently, you know, so, and, and she began to explain. And I felt pity for her. Amen. F came under fornication with a man. Hallelujah. You know, in the ministry. And, you know, and, 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 and when, you, when you sleep around with somebody, if you kiss somebody, it's easy to recover. How many of you know that? Sin is sin. Amen. How many of you know that sin is sin? Sin is sin according to God. You stand your rope, okay? You need to wash it. But what the devil goes after is pollution, to the degree of pollution. So people don't know that Christians just look at it as sin is sin. So if, 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 if lying is the same as fornication or adultery, let me do it. Let me just have sex. No, the implication is serious. Amen? The blood that is required to wash yourself from lying is not the same blood that is required to wash yourself when you have sex. When you have sex, you're actually being baptized with the spirit of death. How many of you know that? Baptized with the spirit of death. That is the, you are rupturing yourself from every light. You are depriving yourself from the light of God. And you are invading all your members with the spirit of death. Every death, anger, everything. So at that point, if they kill you, you go, you go to hell. If you lie, you have, <laughs> the enemy cannot still kill you because you still carry a level of light in you. Do, you. do you understand? Is somebody hearing me? Every sin is outside. Every sin is outside of the body. It's only, it's only fornication and adultery is within the body. The one that Jesus said, if you lost after a woman, huh, you've committed adultery in your heart. He says in your heart, not in your body. Understand that in your heart, your your heart can be corrupted, but your whole body cannot be corrupted. There is light in your body. Oh. <laughs> your body is your temple. So. Don't, don't misunderstand that scripture. If you go and have sex in the in sex, your, your body becomes absent of light. It becomes deprived from favor. You begin to walk in rejection. Does that make sense? Amen? I'm saying it to somebody so that they gain understanding. So that you understand. Because when you understand this, the devil will not seduce you to have sex. You will think of what you're about to lose. Okay? If a person have sex, huh? if a person lie, there is a spot that come on your garment. If you steal, there is a spot that come on your garment. Alright? But when you commit abortion or you have sex, you will need a replacement on your garment. Don't forget about washing it because your, your garment is so polluted already. You need to another one. Does that make sense? Hello? Okay. Please understand that because there is a philosophy that goes around. A one sin is a sin. Every sin is a sin. You don't talk about the one that the devil sees. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. When you understand each level of sin, then you know how to take each one and be careful. All right? 
a guy that kiss you, a guy that kisses you on the neck. It's not the same one that when a guy begins to get intimate with you. Those two, those two ones are different. So I beg of you, uh -huh. please, please, I beg of you. So those who have been overcome by temptation, guard yourself. All right? Guard yourself. Guard yourself. Someone say guard yourself. The more you fast, the more you watch and pray, is the more the enemy wants to come and seduce and tempt you. If they come around, it's not because your prayers have been answered. Many times, it's because the devil wants to paralyze your strength. He wants to weaken your strength. You understand that? Hallelujah. There is a time for temptations. When you turn on the light in darkness and you come outside, what happens? You find all kinds of mosquitoes, all kinds of insects around the, around the light. Right? All right. It is well. The Lord bless you. The Lord guide you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and release peace. May the Lord anoint you with fresh fire in the name of Jesus. May the Lord sustain you and give you grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God, God bless you. Hmm? Hallelujah. I love you. Bye-bye. Hmm. Bye-bye. Okay, blessings. Bye-bye.